morning guys today is Tuesday it is probably about 7 30 in the morning um, I have to get ready to go into town this is usually my, like my Tuesday schedule so that's what I'm gonna take you guys on today um, I do have school today I have to go get groceries and get some shopping done so I'm gonna do all that and I'm gonna take you guys along it's kind of a long process for me and I'm actually kind of behind schedule I'm usually almost ready by now but um, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready really quick and then I'll see you in a few it is so cold outside I have never been into a weather like this before it's 11 degrees outside and my car is like frozen solid I'm just waiting for it to warm up a little bit before I head off for my day oh my gosh it's so freezing there's like icicles everywhere so yeah guys hopefully get there on time I think it's about 8 05 I think I usually like to leave a little before 8 but that's fine only because um, I like to have time to do other things but I'm sure I'll get there at a decent time it takes about almost two hours to get to the next town over in Sparks so um, hopefully I get there early because I like to go eat go get something to eat really quick before I head off to class or you know I get really hangry and then I can't focus like I can't focus if I don't have food so I need to do that and then hopefully I have time to go maybe shopping a little bit. I was thinking about going to Ross just for some tops or something and look at the makeup section for a second and the home decor. And then if I have time, maybe I'll head off to Marshall's because it's like right down, you know, the next street over. So maybe Marshall's or Ulta, I'm not sure because I have to go get groceries at Walmart really quick and they have makeup there. So I know if I go to Ulta, I'm going to end up buying makeup at Walmart as well. So. It's like one or the other type thing. So I'm gonna wait for my car to warm up and hopefully we'll be on our way. All right guys, I just got to town not too long ago. I had to stop to use the restroom really quick and then I went to Jack in the Box right there and I'm gonna eat my breakfast. I just got like the three taco combo thing. I'm not much of a breakfast breakfast person. I'd rather eat lunch. So this is the only place that's still sold lunch at this time. So I think I'm gonna eat really quick and there's like a Ross like right down the street. So I might go over there and see what kind of tops I can find. I'm just missing like sweaters and stuff. Now it's a little colder. I need to have some sweaters in stock. So I think I'm gonna do that. And then I don't have class till 11. So if I get out a little early out of Ross, like if I don't find anything, I'll probably head over to Old Tub, see what they got, you know? So I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Also, I forgot to mention that I am testing out the Physicians Formula Foundation that I tried in my first impressions video. So I'm trying it out for longer than, you know, a few minutes. See how it works. It, it looks really, really good. I think it looks great. So I did put um, that NYX Hydrating Primer too and the po No Pore Bloom Primer because I noticed that when I did put the Physicians Formula, my pores were kind of, you know, huge. So I did that and it paired really well with all my other makeup products that I use on the daily. And what else did I use? Oh, my Tarte Shape Tape. It looks really good combined with this foundation. So also I'll let you guys know how it looks, but I really like how it looks today looks really good looks like skin it doesn't look super cakey or anything like that so but we'll see how long it stays on my face just got to the Ross parking lot I have about 40 minutes still I have to head off to class so I'm just gonna look in there really quick and try to vlog in there if there's too many people I'm still kind of shy so we'll see how it works out Okay, so Ross was not a success. They didn't really have much clothes. I feel like it's always a hit and miss with Ross. Either you find a lot of stuff and they're all your size and it all works out or you just don't find shit, I feel like, with the clothes. So I also looked at the, the home decor and stuff because my house, um, our home, we've been living there for almost a year, about 10 months. Um, and the decor, there is not much of it. So I was trying to look around, but I can't think of any inspiration. Like I am not a home decorator, I'm not. And I'm just slowly trying to figure out what colors I can use for what and things like that. And it's still, I still don't know what I want to do with it. So I have a little things here and there, but I don't have like paintings or anything like that. Like our walls are empty and I really want to put stuff in the walls, but I don't know what I want to put up there. Like I feel like 
once I know, once I see that painting, I'll know. So far, I have no luck. So, I don't know where to go because I wanted to get clothes, but there is nothing here close by so that I'm not late to school. And I want to go all the way to Target after because I want to go straight home after school. Like, after, after I get my groceries, I want to go straight home. This is, like, my dilemma all the time. It's like, I want to go shopping, but I have to do school, and I don't want to go home at, like, 6 o'clock p.m. And I didn't want to order online because I wanted my clothes now. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go over to Ulta, see what they have. I think they have, like, I think they had a sale going on, so I'm going to go check that out and see if we find some stuff. So I got some stuff at Ulta. I didn't get that much, I only got like four things because I'm running out of time and if I didn't hurry my butt up, I was gonna be late to class. And we don't want that. So, I have 20 minutes so I have to get to class. I'm gonna go ahead and go there and I'll, guide, and I'll show you how the school it looks like. It's really big, so definitely not what I'm used to, but I've gotten used to it already. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't wanna vlog and drive. I just got to Walmart. I got out of class at 12.15. It was a really good class day. Um, we're doing like de demonstrations on certain like s special ed stuff. So today it was more like a physical therapy type of thing. It was pretty cool. We had like three stations. One was like with a water bottle, how you had to like stretch and like try to, you know, use your muscles to really push that bottle. We did other ones where you had to like walk and like zigzag things like that on your tippy toes for kids that are like flat footed and walk mostly on their heels. Uh, on their heels on their front on their front toes sorry and then we had another one that was supposed to be like animal yoga but we didn't get to that because the other two took a long time but it was a lot of fun and um i, re I really enjoy that class it's not so like so much lecturing it's like a lot of hands-on type of things so it's really cool so now i'm gonna go into walmart and get the groceries and i look at the makeup section for a little bit i was gonna go to marshall's but um i might just i probably just go to the mall next week or something to find my clothes if not then I'll just order online I don't want to but whatever I'd probably just do that but what do you guys think of my foundation it's been on since 7 30 I think it looks really good I think this might be my new go-to foundation I don't know I really like it though and it looks really good with like my concealer and all that so yeah I'll bring you guys along with me this is like my least favorite part of the day but it has a good done, so. <laughs> okay, so far I have face masks, shampoo, candles. I need a new board, so I bought, I'm gonna get this one. Some Toronto pizza, my favorite beer, and my favorite soda. I have to get the rest of our stuff. Okay, shopping for the week is officially done. It's all back there. I am done. I got a lot of, no, I didn't get too much, too much. I just got enough food for the week. Then I got some beauty stuff, like face masks and hair masks and stuff. So if I have time, if I remember, I'll try to show you guys what I bought. Just, you know, just so you can see what I got. I don't know. So I'm off to Panda Express because I don't want to go home and make food right away. Isn't that usually a thing where you like go buy groceries and then you like get fast food on the way home just so you don't have to cook? I mean, my only one does that because I don't want to do that. I just want to go home, especially with the drive. I just want to go home, have something there to eat, and then go on with my life. Probably do homework or something because I'm tired. All right, just got to Panda. I am going to get off, but I just wanted to ask you guys what you guys think of my foundation. It's starting to get a little oily here. Which is normal this is where i usually get oily is only in my nose area 
and I usually don't bring extra powder or anything but it's getting kind of shiny but everywhere else it looks okay so it's normal so let me know what you guys think of the foundation I did end up driving to go to Marshalls, but apparently that Marshalls isn't even open. They're renovating it or building it or something. The sign's up, but they don't, you know, they're building it. So I'm just gonna come to Starbucks, gonna get me a Trenta green tea lemonade, and I asked for four extra pumps of the sweetener because those seven pumps are not enough. I think it was seven, not enough. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'll be on my way home. Hopefully the trip, the drive back goes by a lot faster because I just want to go home I'm finally home Whew. that I feel like was a long trip so I already unloaded the groceries and they're on my table so I'm gonna quickly take them out of the bags and show you guys what I got okay everything is unbagged don't mind my chair I usually leave my chairs like that because it's easier to sweep and mop but of course I got a 24 pack of coke because I am <gasps> my nail are you kidding me can't believe I lost my nail <sighs> okay can I glue back on like the same nail oh let's look at my foundation first let's look at that how's it looking so it's kind of oily right here but I don't think it looks bad so remember, it's the Physician's Formula, the healthy foundation. That's the one I, I, I'm wearing. I wore it in my last video, the First Impressions, I think it was. I'm thinking it was that one, but I really like this foundation. I think it might be my next, you know, my new go-to foundation. It's so pretty. Anyways, besides my missing nail, yeah, so I need a 24-pack of Coca-Cola because I am addicted to it. I need Coca-Cola. I need, I need at least one, one a day, or I get these really, really, really harsh migraines, and that's what I need. Then I also got a 12-pack of our favorite beer, my favorite. I don't like really, like, strong beer, so it's perfect for me. I could drink a couple of those, and I'll be good. Then I also got some ham for sandwiches, some bacon for this. I'm going to do this new recipe. It's like a jalapeno popper chicken, but it's like... I'm gonna wrap the bacon around it and stuff it. So I definitely need it for that. And that's what I got the toothpicks, um, the cream cheese for that. And I also got green onion with it for it too. And here are the jalapenos. And I'm also gonna put some asparagus on the side. Then I got some drumsticks for mole, which is what this is for right here. Got some mole. Then I got some parsley for the lemon chicken that I'm supposed to make this week. Tapatio because my boyfriend needs it. And it's his life. Also got these, these little snack bites. They look so cute. I don't know, I just need something to munch on when I'm on my way to work and when I'm at work. So they're really affordable and they look yummy. So I'll have to see how those taste like. Also got some bread. This is a bread we always buy, Honey Wheat, Nature's Own. I like Sara Lee, but Manny likes Nature's Own. So he insists that we buy this one. So that's what I got. I also got a Sestito Salsa Verde. I always grab at least one type of bag of chips because never know when we want chips. So these are like my favorite chips ever. I love these kinds. So I got some Gatorades in the back here and some DiGiorno pizzas that I could just pop into the oven. I just got two of them just for one day. When I don't feel like cooking, which is mostly all the time, I'm just gonna pop these in the oven and they're really, really good. Then I also got two cereals. No. Yes, we love kids cereals, don't judge us. We love sugary cereals, my favorite. This one's my favorite over here. And I got like Cocoa Pebbles for him. See those chocolates, so. Got that. And I also got this cutting board. I needed a wood cutting board because all I had was like the plastic ones. And every time I would clean it, like the pieces of the sponge would get stuck to the board. So I'm like, eh, I should probably get a wood one. So I found this one at Walmart. So I'm gonna try this out and hopefully it's better than the other one. I feel so weird without my nail. Anyways, I also got some masks. So I got, I love these masks from Found. I have a whole drawer full of them and I just love to restock on them. So I got three more. And then I've never tried these masks before, but they're at Walmart and they're the same price as the Found ones. 
So I'm gonna try them out. If you guys have tried these out, let me know in the comment section and see how you like them. There was different kinds, so let me know which ones you guys like. And then I also got some hair masks. I actually love these hair masks. I just haven't done it in a while. So this one in specific, I love this one, but I'm gonna try out these two because I love hair masks. I gotta take care of my hair. Also got this new shampoo. I've never tried this sh shampoo before. I mean, I, I've, I've tried sh Pantene, but not this kind. It's, it's like a mar micellar shampoo and conditioner with aloe. And that's kind of, you know, that's interesting. It sounds like it'd be really helpful for my hair and it smells really good. And I also, for makeup, I just got like a brush cleaner from e.l.f. And they added new liquid catsuit lipsticks from Wet n Wild. Oh my gosh, I have two of them that I love and they added more colors. These are the colors that were just speaking to me. This one's like a mauve color. This one's like a purpley, like grayish color. I love this color, it looks so pretty. And I got like this fiery orange red. And I'm gonna try it in one of the video, in a video soon. And I would, you know, I can't wait to try them out so much. They were like, f like almost $5 for each one. And I love the formula. So hopefully these colors have the same formula as the other two that I have. Also, I just got some random candles. These were on sale. I always buy these at Walmart because they're still on sale. They're like $3 and they're really bright. I have, I just bought extra ones cause they smell good and they're actually really bright when you put them in the room. We have small rooms, so it lights up the entire room. And especially I wanted to stock up because lately we've been having a lot of power outages because of how cold it is and stuff. I just wanted to make sure I have extras just in case. I also went to Ulta and I just got like four things. I just got, of course, my beauty sponge obsession i got a maybelline one it was 5.99 i believe this is what it looks like it looks kind of interesting so i want to try this out in a video too and then i also got the makeup revolution very much talked about conceal and define concealer the one that um people have been saying is like the short the short i keep saying that tart shape tape and it says it's full coverage so we'll see i'm trying a video soon and also I just got like a Makeup Revolution matte blush. It looks super pretty and it's matte, so I um, can't wait to try that. And I also got the other talked about foundation, the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. I think I got the wrong color. Now that I look at it in this light, it looks darker. It looked a lot different in the store. Dang it, well hopefully, I'm, I'm still gonna try it out, see how it is, and then maybe I'll get my other color. Eh. I thought it looked a lot different in the store. Thing, but I'm gonna try all those and the liquid lipstick in the video with my other products. I have this little drawer in my room that has all the you know fresh products that I haven't tried yet and they're still in packages and stuff. So I'm gonna throw this all in there. And also have a drawer for my skincare stuff. So I'm gonna throw these in there as well. Hopefully um, I get my beauty room or studio or whatever you guys want to call it together so I can actually do like a tour because right now it is not up to par like. I need a desk, I need all kinds of things, I need a chair, I need a lot of stuff. So maybe eventually, maybe in a couple months, I don't know, maybe I could do like a beauty room tour so you guys can see, or at least see how I'm organized. I'm organized, like my makeup is organized, but the room isn't what you expect it to look like. So it's just gonna, it's gonna be a minute. But um, yeah guys, I think that's it for the vlog. It's my first time vlogging, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section, see you know, what I can do better or, you know, obviously I wasn't gonna walk around and like talk as much cause it's still kind of new to me. So <laughs> hopefully next time I could take you guys a little, you know, make it a little more chatty in the stores than I did today. And obviously I didn't want to vlog and drive, first of all, because that's dangerous. Second of all, because um, we're, I have to drive the two hours. Those roads are so bumpy. Like you can, you probably wouldn't even be able to see me. Like everything is like this, it's awful. So I, I probably wouldn't be able to drive and do that, but maybe if I get a vlog camera and just have it sitting up, I don't know if that'll make a difference, but the roads are so bumpy and I just had to make sure I was paying attention and had both hands on the wheel and weren't, wasn't, you know, distracted. So we'll see, maybe I'll vlog some other stuff along the way, but, um, yeah, guys, let me know if you guys liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Please, again, ignore my nail, give it a thumbs up. For the video and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already i do post three to four times a week I'm trying a little harder but you know life so i'll see you guys on the next one bye